Inspiration comes in many forms, but none greater than a parent. Roy Harris, the pride of Cut and Shoot, Texas, became one of the best fighters the area has ever known. He had a pretty good example to follow. His dad, Henry Harris Sr., was also a boxer. He was probably a better fighter than me because he was bigger and stronger. He was six foot, two and a half inches tall, and he weighed about 220, and he, man, he, could, he could hit real hard with he put you out with either hand. Good fighter. I wish I would have been as good as him, really. Oh, no worries. In his mind, he might not have been as good, but Roy Harris was great. At 6 feet, 215 pounds, the heavyweight fought a total of 36 professional fights, won his first 23, 30 total, knocked out nine, only lost five, no draws. He fought some great fighters, but none more prominent than two in particular. A bruiser and one of the most feared boxers of his day, the Bear, the late former heavyweight champion of the world, Sonny Liston. Big, bad rascal. He was. Yeah, real big man. Oh, yeah, he was a big man. Powerful man. Strong. You, you couldn't, you, you wasn't, wrestling even, wasn't even any fun. You had to either get in there and get him and get out, or you're going to get hit. Hard. Harris fought Liston in Houston. Liston was 50 and 4 with 39 knockouts. We said two prominent fighters, though. The second one is the one that put the C in cut and the S in shoot. Harris's big fight for the championship of the world, this one against former world heavyweight champ Floyd Patterson. Floyd Patterson was a good fighter. He was extra speed to over most fighters. This fight drew the attention of the national media to cut and shoot. Add to that cover boy of Sports Illustrated, huge at the time in 1958. Roy Harris, the pride of cut and shoot, was the undefeated challenger and knew what kind of fighter he was facing. I was kind of surprised at his speed. He, he faster than he looks. He's a great fighter. He, he was hard to, to get in a position where you could hit him with a good, solid leg. Regardless, Harris made a big $100,000 purse from that fight, and this. He became a successful attorney following his boxing career. He's a class gentleman who was also very much loved by his family.